Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are back again. I'm going to hike my chair up a little bit actually before we start here. I know that sounds like a weird thing to say, but my, my chair felt a bit low. Anyways, <laughs> I had to actually get a new chair recently. Well, I say get a new chair. I went into the other room and stole my girlfriend's. Um, because tainted my stemmer. It's been a little while. Let's give it a go. We'll check his unlocks. Um, yeah, I had to get another chair recently from my girlfriend's room because I, um, I kind of broke mine. I like leaned back. So I just had a big old sesh of Warzone. It's Mastema. Can't remember. Mastema. Check. Marks. Damn it. Mastema. Help. Okay. Mastema Marks. Damn it. It's just Mastema Marks. Mastema marks. Oh wait, I don't need to do T Mastema. Okay, cool. T Mastema. Um, we can go Dark Path. We can do a lot with this guy. I think we, I think we go Dark Path with this guy. That, that, that would make sense to me. Also, we started off with one item from Eden's Blessing. It's the one where we can buy shop items for stats down, which is kind of an interesting idea. Although, I don't actually know how that'll work because this guy doesn't really... I don't know. This guy doesn't buy stuff with money, does he? If, unless I'm thinking of normal Mastema. I can never remember. Um... But, yeah, I just just finished a nice a nice big old chunky Warzone session. And um, I did a nice a nice long lean back, like a satisfied sort of, ah, thank God I'm done with that trash. No, I was just a bit frustrated because we didn't do very well. But anyways, I kind of leaned back and was like, ah, that was a very loud crack. And my chair went back much better than it normally does. And then, like, it wasn't just, like, sort of broken when, oh, no, now I can't lean back. It was just broken totally, like... If I like, rested my back on the chair even slightly, it just like, oh really? I can't believe that hit me. Um, even slightly, excuse me alarm, calm down. Uh, it just bent straight back. I was like, okay, okay, that's that's not really gonna work out for us. So, on the theme of that, for the question of the day, what's, uh, what's something you've accidentally broken? What's something you've accidentally broken? Whether it was yours or someone else's, um, that's that, that's definitely the most recent one. I did not mean to do that. Dude, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Um, oh, that's an, that's an active item. Dr. Shremur also. Absolutely love the resprite for Dr. Shremur here. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to take that for some stats down and uh, two broken hearts. Because I actually think that this could be super valuable. Just because we have this now. Oh, it's triple. Ooh, it's triple shot too. I mean, look at that. Our debt's already cleared. Easy as can be. Easy as one, two, three. There you go. Right. Sadly, we don't have that for the boss. That would be really nice. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some other good examples of that now. Oh, really? Are you a wizard right before the boss? I mean, at least it's a fairly easy boss, but that is not ideal. Wait, 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 wait. Did that guy just get longer? Is he getting longer? I think he's getting longer. That's not good for me because I can't shoot straight. I, I, I literally can't hit these guys because I kind of, for some reason, expect to have spectral and I don't. I'm going to have to focus on this fight for a minute while I, um... <laughs> Without talking. He's getting longer. He's getting longer. What do I do? What do I do? Is it when he eats poo? Okay, we're back to normal. We're back to normal. This fight has gotten significantly harder. I've never had this guy alive long enough to see this happen before. Let's, um, I don't know. How do I want to handle this? I think this is going to go relatively poorly. But if I take enough damage, I use my black art and kill everything. So that should be fine. I'll get back to the question of the day stuff in a moment. I'm panicking right now. The head. The head must go. The head's got so much health. I think that was the, the, the proper head. All of these, like, the mini heads now. Oh my god. Oh! Yeah, the, 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 the normal head spawns and has like higher HP and I think spawns creep as well. Calm down, sir. Thank god we have flight. This has been a rather tricky Larry fight. A rather tricky Larry fight indeed. You don't expect that very often, but sometimes, sometimes it sneaks up on you. Larry just, he does his business. He is, he is a, a pretty big goober. Pretty big goober. But yeah, I can't think of like a really specific example of me breaking something, but 
I can think of an example of one of my friends. Oh, an extra soul heart. Of one of my friends just breaking everything. Um, I had, uh, I still have a friend even. It's not that they weren't my, they're not my friend anymore. I just don't live in the same city as anymore. But I was really good friends with someone in my hometown from school. Um, and oh, my, my parents used to, do I want that? Nah, I don't really want that. My, I, um, I used to have a friend and my parents used to kind of hate them because literally every single time they came to my house, they broke something. And it wasn't always insignificant things either. There were some things they broke that were like pretty bad. Like one time, um, so when I was younger, um, this is gonna be a massive tangent by the way, uh, just to explain where this this story comes from. And because I've just remembered it and kind of wanna, kind of wanna talk about it. But when I was younger, um, I used to play a lot of pool and a lot of snooker because my dad was into it, uh, but also because um, one of the what, like one of the houses on my street just next to my parents, just next to my house, um, was uh, an older couple and their grandson used to come over relatively often and I was pretty good mates with him. Um, and me and him used to go to a pool hall, um, like a little a snooker club, whatever you want to call it, pretty often because there was one like just at the top of our street. It unfortunately got demolished when, when I was about like... 11 or 12, I think, maybe a little earlier than that. Uh, but I remember going there quite a lot. So I ended up getting like reasonably good at pool and snooker. I'm still decent at it. I'm not amazing. I was, I was just thinking, is there a reason this doesn't cost health? But probably because it's HP. I'm guessing if it wasn't HP, it would cost health. We have really good HP right now. I need to remember that's triple shot. I, I forgot again. Dude, that was a really bad hit. Thank God I just got a soul heart. Um. Yeah, so there's this snooker club place that I used to go to all the time. And so, um, obviously, I used to gather, go there with this guy, but I also used to go with my dad quite a lot as well. And um, we got quite into it. We used to go fairly often. He, he was a decent player, so he kind of trained me up on how to play and stuff. It was it was wholesome. It was nice. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, but because of this, eventually, on one of my birthdays, he bought me my own pool cue, like a like a custom one. Um, it was one that, like, screwed in the middle. Um also crawl space. Uh, and yeah, I gotta say, I was really, really happy with it. I was super happy to have it. Damn it. D10. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, I was really happy to have it. It was awesome. But I didn't really get to use it that much because, as I said, it got demolished. And this was around only around a year before that happened that he got me the queue. So, unfortunately, I really didn't get that much use out of it. I got, like, I got to use it basically, like, as many times as I went in that year, which I think wasn't even that many times. I, I, I used it a few other places we went, but not a lot. But anyways, a few years down the line, it had been kind of it been kind of stored away under my bed for a while because I hadn't used it in very long. I think this is worth it. Um, I hadn't used it in very long, so it had been kind of stored away under my bed for a good while. Um, and so my friend came around one day, and he, this is the friend that breaks everything. And he, um, I don't know really why, I can't particularly explain it, but he felt compelled to, um, to, like, pick it up and start messing around with it and, like, start hitting it against things. Um, and, yeah, he, um, he hit it against my bed, which, in retrospect, sounds fine. It doesn't sound like a problem whatsoever, but it kind of becomes a problem when also we might be able to get rid of some hearts here this this this, this could be pretty good here this could be pretty good um just wait for the hand to fall it's a it's a lethal hand as well um let me just let me just suss out this this devil deal first so first of all let's do that that made that free uh what is that by the way upgrade every non-familiar to super okay we don't have any familiars right now so that's not super useful right now that is perfect and I'd very much like Flyboy as well. Okay, let's grab that. And that. And let's go. Oh, I do forget Flyboy has that really glitchy effect, though. I apologize for you see, like, people watching this. It's going to be a little bit epileptic if you look at my horn right now. There's a glitch with the Flyboy costume that makes it pretty weird. Pretty weird, as you can see. So we're, we're kind of hoping for an item that overwrites it. But for right now, just just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. But Flyboy is a really good item, so. Um, but anyways, yeah, he sounds to hit against my bed. Sounds pretty innocent. Sounds like, oh, he's just messing around, whatever. But he kind of accidentally hit it against the frame of my bed. Right as it was like, kind of, oh, we got one of the new rooms. Awesome, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's awesome. Um, 
We got one of these rooms. Hell yes. Oh, it, it is Jupiter. I don't really want Jupiter. I'll come back for that. But that's a new room that I really want to try out because they're really interesting. Um, yeah, he was hitting it against my bed and it hit the bed frame and it snapped the thing in half like straight away. Like instantly snapped it in half. Um, and so he was like, oh shit. And yeah, it wasn't, wasn't great considering that was a present from my dad from a long time ago. So I wasn't super happy about that. But at the same time, it's like, he didn't mean to do it, but he also shouldn't have been hitting it against my bed. So I think my dad was probably more annoyed than I was um, at the time. What we got in our shop here? Do you know what? Notched Axe is better for us right now. I, I, Doctor's Remote is good because it does provide us with some good ways to deal damage. But this is guaranteed entry with Blue Map to all of our secret rooms, which I think is pretty damn valuable. Um... I want to see if we can get rid of some um, broken hearts before we go ahead and grab more. <laughs> I'll be honest. That's my one hold up right now. I will try and use this wherever I can. We need to find second secret room, which is probably here. No, surprisingly not. Okay. Uh, try and suss out where second secret room would be then, because I'm not 100% sure right now. Actually, could it be here? Yes, it could. Not quite there. Here. Yeah? No. What rooms have and haven't we been to? We haven't been this way. Okay. We, we've got really good damage and stuff right now, which is a, a big positive. We're getting through these rooms like nobody's business. Still nothing there. I do want to open up all the, uh, like, use all these mushrooms, but I know that with Notched Axe, I don't quite have the range to actually do that without hurting myself. I do love the fact that it's pink. I'm not quite sure why it's pink, I'll be honest, but I love the fact that it's pink. It's pretty stylish. But yeah, this th that wasn't the only instance of this person breaking things in my house. One thing that was always really funny is, for some reason, I, I never really understood it, and they still have it to this day. My parents have a, um, like a folding door for their bathroom door. Do you know, like one of those ones that kind of like folds in on itself? Um, I don't know if I'm describing it right. Maybe you guys think I'm weird and have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, but they had, like, this folding door thing. And it was always breaking. Like, constantly breaking. It was just it was just a piece of shit, to be honest. I hated it. Um, but, like, it, he would always break it every time he came to our house. But then he the next time, we, we'd never be able to fix it. But then the next time he arrived, he would always subsequently fix it. So there was just this really weird sort of in and out of every single time he came over, he'd break and then fix it and then break and then fix it. <laughs> like in alternating between when he came to our house. It was kind of weird and kind of funny, but yeah, it was just kind of like, um, right, this time you're going to break it, you're going to fix it. We'll see. We'll see. Right. I will get Jupiter. I will get Jupiter. Because I just, I just want to show this room off. It's a new, it's a new room. They are really, really heckin' cool. Which one do we get this time? We got this guy. It's whole new bosses. Whole new bosses. I don't know what this guy's patterns are or anything. By the way, we look fantastic with Jupiter right now. Uh, yeah, whole new bosses uh, for this room. There's, there's like four or five bosses, I think. Ooh, that's so cool. Um, I don't know if they're themed based on the item you get or anything. I have no idea. But they're really, really cool. Oh, damn. Drip drops. This guy's a tricky boss. As you can see by his health bar, which is slightly hard to see, I will say. It's not a particularly easy fight. We have good damage and it's taken quite some time. And this guy's got a lot of attack patterns too. Genuinely a really, really impressive boss, I've got to say. Definitely want to use some bombs here to alleviate some of this trouble we're having with him. I mean, that's definitely been a good call. We did lose one heart there, but we're, we're, we've almost got a charge of Snake Bible left. And there you go. Like, you, you can only get one of those per run. But it's just like, an, it's now yet another way to have a little bit higher chance of getting planetarium items on a run. It can also spawn Zodiac items as well. Um, so it's not just for planetarium items. But I think it's really, really cool. And it's a difficult, unique challenge too. Obviously, Jupiter, I have to say, really isn't my gem in terms of items. I think it's uh, one of the one of the worst uh, items that you can get. It's like not terrible, but it's just there's so much better that you can get there. So 
I'm happy to be a fat chunky boy, but otherwise it's not it's not really what we wanted. Gasoline for two broken hearts. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that as is. The good thing is we will be getting scaling damage based on Flyboy. Every floor Flyboy is gonna give us some additional stats and damage and things. I don't know if it always gives damage or what, but it will be giving us damage from time to time. I really wish my face had stopped glitching out. It'd be really nice. Okay, let's let's not deal with the Eternal Champion first. Okay, poison him. Poison actually worked out for us there. Nice one. Anti-Grev? Anti-Grev is a pretty good tier rate upgrade, but we would be gaining a, a Broken Heart for that, which I feel is a little difficult for us. Nice, nice. Sadly, a Rainbow Heart doesn't do much for us, unless... No, it doesn't. Bunch of keys there. Very, very, very nice. At least they reduced the fart sound effect. That used to be the most egregious and annoying part of it. Can we do that more than once? We can. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Bit risky here, but I'd rather remove some broken hearts so we can potentially get some other items. Like, I kind of want anti-grav. Because I'm tap shooting at the moment anyways. Dice bag is a good shout, to be honest. I like dice bag. Would I re-roll this run? This run's pretty good. I don't know. So we can actually double up on this room with the D7. And then just... Oh, really? They hit me? They spawned on top of me? Wasn't expecting that for some reason. Uh, we can D4 in this room. But no, I think we're going to go for a shop. Re-roll. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Soul hearts. Come on, a few more. Like, one more soul heart would do. Give half a soul heart every time you use a card or rune. Hmm. That is pretty good. Nah, I'll keep rolling. Got another soul heart there. Maybe one more soul heart? Yeah. Hey, uh. We got it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Good, good. Now I can go and use the sack room a little bit more. Chance for a teleport. I guess I'll come back for that, maybe. But then let's go back over here. Now we can take anti-grav fairly scot-free. Gives us a huge boost in fire rate. It's also made us look even more fabulous than we already did. Excuse me. I'd like my dice back. Thank you. We can D8. I'll try it. We lost a bit of fire rate. We gained a bit of damage. All in all, not terrible. I will be taking that opportunity when it arises. The D1. Does the D1 do much for us right now? Wait, 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 wait. I have to just try this real quick. Before we end the room. Actually, we can, we can end the room. It doesn't matter. We keep the D1 regardless, don't we? Uh, I just want to try something. Can I drop my trinket and still have the D1 in my pocket? I can. Because then I can D1 and try for a better trinket. An interesting uh, use case there. Not always super useful. So you know what? We'll reroll all of those guys and see who we get. Significantly worse enemies. Thank you. Especially the spider. Oh, my God. That's weird. Wasn't expecting that to work that way. Got an eternal D6 here as well. Thank God we have flight right now. That's really nice. But yeah, and another another time with this. This is the same friend, by the way. Another time that um, they came to my house and broke something was our trampoline. <laughs> we had a trampoline in our back garden. It was only one of those small ones. It was like one of those kind of inexpensive, tiny ones. It wasn't anything impressive or anything. Um, uh, but we'd had it for like around two or three years. And again, it was one of those things where it was it was a little underutilized. We'll be honest. It wasn't it wasn't something we were taking full advantage of. Unfortunately, that's not really great for us. Hop the D20, because why not? Yeah. I don't really think we need that. I don't really think we need that either, to be honest. I'm not going to uh, spend health and stuff I don't think we need. I will, however, go back and at least use our sack room one more time. And maybe even two or three more times. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll suss it out. Um, 
Yeah, and we hadn't used it for a little while, so it was again a bit underutilized, but he jumped on it and just like busted one of the springs straight up. Nice, we got a soul heart back. We got, unfortunately, not a great item. We're going to do a full-on gamble here. This is a mega gamble, this. Oh, no. We might die. I really heavily gambled on getting the soul hearts there. Although, I could take that now. Eh, it's not that good. Not that good. Could take member's card. Try and get some out of that. I'll take member's card. See if I can get some out of that. Binky is a so I'm gonna take that. Seems a bit weird, but I think the fire rate is, is really, really, really good. Oopsie, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so th this 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 guy just came and broke everything. So my parents were like, they liked him as a person, but every time he came over, they were like, no. Not you again. Don't break my stuff. Definitely a love-hate relationship. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some, some good examples of me doing that now. Because I, I, I know that there's got to be a few. There's got to be a, quite a few. There's got to be numerous, in fact. I've luckily never... Um, I've, I've never been one for, like, breaking phone screens and stuff. I've only ever cracked one phone screen. Oh, my God, that was a bad hit. And, at least in my opinion, I can wholeheartedly say that it wasn't my fault. Um, I, I, That's the only phone screen I've ever cracked. And yeah, basically I did it because I, I was wearing... It was really hot at the time. It was like summer. And I was wearing really like sort of small shorts that went that were kind of ill-fitting. But I was just wearing them around the house. I didn't really care. But I had my phone in my pocket. And my pockets weren't all that deep. And I jumped over... Like I jumped across the living room because people were watching TV. And I wanted to like jump out of the way sort of thing. I didn't want to be blocking the TV. Um, and it fell out my pocket onto carpet from like a meter up and smashed. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, thanks, Fern. That's the, <laughs> that's the, uh, the real pussy way out there. You just didn't even try. So, so yeah, but like normally I've not, I've not been that, that bad with tech. And like I said, I've luckily never ever had any issues with breaking my PC or anything. I've had a few like scares here and there. Like the other day... Um, D20? Oh, I probably should have kept D20 there and maybe used it. Um, like, the other day I did have it where um, my monitors turned off and just wouldn't come back on and I was kind of shitting myself. Luckily, they did come back on after a while. I think it might... I think my PC had just, like, my graphics card had conked out because of the heat, which now I was saying about how hot it was in the UK um, recently. So I think it was just that, but it was, it was a little worrying at the time. Especially when, like... I do all of my work from my PC. I do all my recording for my PC. I spend all my free time on my PC. It's like, oh god. I, I need you to never break. P please, please just never break. It does crash from overheating a little too often. But then again, I, I, I have an AMD setup, so I'm kind of... I, I wouldn't say I'm used to it, but I kind of expect that to happen sometimes. AMD cards always run hot. It's a shame, but I kind of knew what I was getting into when I paid cheaper for a PC. It's just what it was what was available at the time and what was cheapest when I had the budget that I did. I would like to to go through and uh buy now that I've actually got like a proper paying job. This was I got this one before that. Um I would like to uh maybe spend some time and um go through and try and build a good PC setup that's a little more future proof than the one I have right now cuz the one I have right now it's it's fine. It it does it does a decent job. Um, it is, it can get through most things just, just dandy, but it probably could do to be a little better, honestly, for, for what I use it for, especially if I start doing edited rendering videos and stuff like that. I think for that, that purpose, especially, it could definitely do to be a little more beefy. Uh, we haven't found our item room yet. Let's, uh, let's keep trucking along. Oh, our boss is over this way. Our item room's probably over at that big square room then, right? I'll still do this extra room just in case, but it's very unlikely, yeah, I thought so. Right, down this way. D10. Actually, a D10 in this room does not seem all so bad. I said that and then a wizard spawned and I was like, hmm, hmm, mistakes were made. Oh! Change my face. Damn it! Really? It won't get rid of the flyboy costume. 
of all the costumes to swap, I was like, yay, I can get rid of the Flyboy costume. I've been looking for one of these. Nope. What do I want to look like today? I want to be this guy. Fat little imp. Yeah, I was really hoping I could just swap out the Flyboy costume there. And no, no, no. It ain't so easy. It ain't so easy. But yeah, I do want to, like, put a bit of put a bit more effort in and try and, uh... Whoa. Hello. Wasn't expecting that. I will d20 those and get a chest. Oh! Perfection itself. In fact, I was going to say I'll even go in here and get something good. Sadly not. That's okay, but now we at least know where our item room is. I kind of thought it'd be up here. I could take the quarter there, but money's not all that valuable to us, so I'm not really that bothered about doing it. I will pop the D8 again, as much as it's a terrible idea, and I realize that. Whenever it comes up, you've got to pop it. I lost a lot of fire rate, but gained a lot of damage. Hmm. We will do the trick again here, just to um, try and get a better trinket. And I honestly think that's a better trinket. So this is tricky. I don't like this room because it just it rerolls so many times. It's just such a waste. I will take that though. I really I really like that item. And actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's let it destroy these. It might give us some black hearts. Not that we need them, but still. I should also go ahead and destroy all of these. See what our chances for a, a decent card are. Hermit and Chariot. Unfortunately, nothing decent. Right, let's keep it going. I know that we obviously lost a lot of fire rate in, um, in using, what's it called there? It's actually quite a lot of fire rate, so I kind of do need my fire rate back. But I think Nose Goblin is better, right? I think. I might be wrong there. It might not end up being better. I don't know. I feel like dice bag having I don't know. Let's let's see. If if I notice a lot of sticking in this fight, a lot of nose goblin sticking, that's helping out a significant amount. Do you know what? I don't know if it is. We got two stuck there. Three. Only three. Four. We only got four stuck there. I know it's a long trip and it's a little bit of a ball ache, but I'm gonna go back and pick up dice back again because i don't know i i feel like i'm in the mood oh shot speed down i feel like i'm in the mood to do some run re-rolling i feel like the setup we've got right now it's pretty good but i feel like with re-rolls we could really make it something interesting i don't know what about you also i kind of like the idea of being able to d1 other things every now and again and get all the other dice effects that are available to us like the d8 being able to d8 again to get more fire it would kind of be nice actually We're moving our way through, and we're going down to the next floor. I do like the fact that Devil Deals only cost one heart with this guy. That is a really nice change. Makes it much more viable to actually buy stuff. The D10, thank you for that useless you useless thing. I could go to the Beast, actually. The Beast might not be a bad shout. I think re-rolling on the way to the Beast, probably a bad idea. But maybe some fun involved. And also, we'll get rid of a lot. And I mean a lot of broken hearts, which is real good. That's actually a very good point. Even though I'm talking to myself. I realize I am. But yeah, that's a very good point, me. D20. I don't think D20 is going to do too much for us there. Ooh, hello. Also, seems we have exactly 41 cent. Immaculate heart, thank you. How perfect is that? How perfect? I don't know why I said perfect rather than perfect, but how perfect is that? Okay, D8 again. We got some fire rate back, lost some damage. I don't know why I bombed that. I'll, re I'll be honest with you, I really don't. Oh, God damn it! I don't have any money to lose, fool. The quarter's back again. Yeah, I like Immaculate Heart. It's good stuff. So, let's look out for our, um, for our Tinted Skull, shall we? 
This room again. I mean, we don't really need any more keys, but I will welcome them with open arms, I guess. That gets rid of you, nice. Yeah, I probably don't want to take any more broken hearts this floor. Unless that item room ends up being, like, absolutely amazing. Which I, I'm going to say I highly doubt it will be. But... Okay, still need my fool card. I don't think I've seen it yet, but there's a very strong possibility that I actually have and just didn't notice because I do that quite often. Good. And we got this ready. Do you want? Do we want a D4 now? No. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this right now. As soon as we get onto the beast path, I'm going to start D4ing. I have to, I have to admit, I don't think we're going to get much better. I think there's a good chance that we end up getting a lot worse, in fact. But I feel like that's like that's like part of the fun, right? <laughs> you gotta gamble with it. We've got a black heart there. That's a Dormimic. Do Dormics work yet? No, they don't. It's still broken. Unfortunate. I need to report that to Ipic. I still haven't reported that bug. But one of the developers does watch these videos, so they probably already know about it. Are you eternal? You are. I am eternal. The eternal tipping fedora. That's such a good video. <laughs> so good. But yeah, I think I, think I was talking about in, in another video how I um, I recently cleaned my PC. I recently like, opened it up myself and went through and gave it a good thorough clean. And I was I was like surprised by how how well it went. I'd always kind of been put off by the idea of doing it myself just because if something goes horrifically wrong, then it's my fault and I can't blame anyone. So I've always been a little bit scared to like do that stuff myself. Um, but I did it and it went pretty well and it kind of does make me want to like get a bit more invested and more involved in um, building my next PC. Juicy sack. A crawl space with a void chest. Um... It's kind of an interesting mechanic for a room. Depression. <laughs> the greatest thing you can get. Ooh, that's a very big damage down, but a very big fire rate up. I don't know. Is that is that going to be worth it? I think it is. I think it is. Okay. Let's go and do our boss. We can't make boss rush by quite a margin, actually. I have been messing myself around quite a lot on this run. That's fine, though. Let's keep making our way. Keep on making my way. But yeah, today as well, I'm going to be recording a few Isaac episodes back to back because I have uh, some people coming over tomorrow that I wasn't... I mean, I was expecting, but I wasn't really prepared for uh, just because I'm stupid. No nothing more than me being a bit dumb. The reason I'm not prepared. Uh, so I'm going to... Um, Prepare some videos tonight. It'll be fun, though. I I, I don't do it very often because I just don't want to, like, ever burn myself out. But if I know that I've got, like, a few days where I don't have to play Isaac coming up, like, when I've got friends go coming over, I'm kind of more okay with sitting down for a little session and, like, booking some time in with the Isaac Doctor and just chilling out playing some of the game. It's always fun. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Oh, thank you. That's rather nice. And then we can full card. And we go this way. We want to be using the Satanic Bible at every given opportunity. That was kind of close. But we also want to be using um, the D4 or the D100 at any given opportunity. We also finally got Beelzebub. Which is still a bit glitchy, but it's unfortunate because we'll be losing it pretty soon. Ooh. Ooh. We D4 because we got the D4. This is significantly worse. So therefore, I take Spirit Sword. This might have been a terrible idea, actually. Might have it. I didn't think about the fact that, yeah, I've got Spirit Sword, but I actually have to do this room. I, I, I don't know why I didn't think about the fact that part part of the deal of me getting Spirit Sword is I have to complete this room. Which with Bugger Tears is, um... Proven to not be that much of an issue, actually. That was a lot of Bugger Tears on you. I don't know what this Eternal version of this boss does. That's one of the things he does, apparently. Dude, can you... Chill out. Whoa there. Whoa there. He's back alive. Okay, one more, one more. These guys are fast. Holy sugar. I really like the little shadow beneath them. 
Okay, Spirit Sword is just kind of to get me out of a sticky situation until the next thing comes along. And I realize it's probably a bad idea because I now have very little health and could die. In fact, I'm, I very well might die. But that's why we have the Satanic Bible. The Satanic Bible's here for just that. It's here to be our savior. Also, why did my active decharge? Oops. What? Excuse me? I wasn't expecting that. Rude. Very rude. D12. Not useful at all, but there you go. It's happened. D12. I'm very scared. I'm very on edge. Just just give me another reroll, please, game. I need range. I need health. I need anything supportive. Dude, come on now. I got an eternal heart for some reason. It's one of my items that's doing that, I'm guessing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, what's down here? Lawful, but unfortunately, I have to buy the heart just to try and stay alive, stay alive. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah. Right. What happened then exactly? Why did I blow up upon entering this room immediately? Do not know. Oh, I had a D100 in that room. I didn't even realize. That is the big shame. D100. Okay. Pascal Candle, Holy uh, holy Mantle. Pascal Candle, Holy Mantle, and Eucharist. Kind of good. Pascal Candle, Holy Mantle, and Eucharist. Unfortunately, we have way too many broken hearts to consider taking anything there. Make our way back. We've actually gone completely the wrong way here. I do, I do kind of like, by the way, you guys will have to let me know what you think of this. I do kind of like how we do Isaac episodes, where we tend to, like, get right into the chat, the meat of whatever we're talking about in the episode. Then kind of later on, we transition towards, like, more Isaac-based chat and kind of just mix in some other random topics as we go. Because I, I, I like to, like, I don't want to feel like I'm forcing it at any point. I like to keep it as, like, an organic flow. I don't want to try and force a topic or conversation if I don't have anything left to say on it. So I do tend to try and, like, steer towards an Isaac talk a little bit later on because I feel like sticking on one topic or even jumping topic to topic for a whole video is difficult and it can be a little overwhelming to listen to for some people. So, I, I don't know, I kind of like it this way. I mean, I hope people like it it's kind of the formula I've been going with for a very long time now, so I would hope that someone would have mentioned it if they didn't like it, but it'd be nice to actually get some genuine feedback on that. In fact, it'd just be like, like really nice. It's, it's just like kind of a ending off segment for this video in general. It'd be really nice to just get some feedback on what people are thinking about the channel recently and the content. People still loving it as usual? Is there anything you'd like to see changed? Is there any anything that, that you think could be tweaked or whatever? It'd be really interesting to just hear people's genuine feedback. I think Broken Stopwatch triggered this room, which is scary. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. These flies. They were coming in hot and heavy. Okay, game, if you'd like to give me another D100, that'd be great. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. This brain is not good for me. This, this, this is a really bad reroll. Did not like that reroll. We hope for greener pastures. The problem is, we might not get another reroll. There's a good chance we do, but there's also a chance we don't. Just get over it. How can you have spent our savings? Just a fire rate plus damage combination right now is not good. Got you. Thank God for this room being slurred. Slurred? Slurred? D20. Goddamn D20 again. Give me the D4. D100, please. Is this thing viable for damage? I think it is. With triple shot. Seems like it is. We lost fire rate. We gained a lot of damage there. 
I mean, we lost a lot of fire rate. We gained a lot of damage. Diddy Battery helps us with HP there. Good. The slow down rooms help with the uh, circle around us. Dude, look at that again, the D20. Although I should have saved it because there's two golden uh, hearts in here. Golden poop, sorry. That would have been useful to use with uh, the D20, maybe. Not guaranteed, but it could have been good. There's a Kringer over here. Oh, almost got hit by that. Okay, up we go again. Dude, I genuinely think we're not going to get a reroll. I feel like it's going to do this to me. We got another D1 here, but... We do have Spectral right now, which I don't know what item's given to that as. Don't know why I decided it'd be fun to release those guys when I have Spectral Tears. Would have been way easier to just fight them like this. Another Soul Heart back this way. Let's grab that. And... What? D7. Not a D4 or D100. There's literally two options you can give me to get me what I want. And you seem to be refusing to do it, game. <gasps> this time we have Godhead. Oh, this is pretty good. This is decent. Um, Stat-wise, not amazing. But we have Godhead, which I feel is a, pl a plus. Whoa. What the hell happened then? I still don't feel this is good enough. Like, we got Godhead, but apart from Godhead, there isn't too much going on here. I don't know, Godhead's, Godhead's doing a pretty good job. I would reroll if it gave me the opportunity, though. I'm a gambler at heart. I've said this too many times before, but don't ever let me near a casino. Well taken care of. We'll see when it ends up giving us one. I'm very tempted to stick with this. This is decent enough. Okay, what keeps happening there? Why does that... It keeps, like, teleporting me straight to the next floor as soon as I enter that room. You are insane. D20 again. We do have Holy Mantle again. But then again, Holy Mantle isn't all that useful later on. Half Soul Heart there. Thank you. Off that as well. Pop a Chucky Milk. D4. I'm doing it. I already regret it. We got the sword again. We got the sword again with not great damage. I, don't, I really don't want the sword for the fight. We did have that good dude, though. That kind of helped. We're getting awfully close now. I kind of think we're stuck with this build. I kind of think we've got a good chance of being stuck with this. No, we're good, we're good. We re-rolled again. Is it better or is it worse? It is not great, I think. Yeah, it's not killing this guy awfully quick. Oh god, it's killing this guy really slowly. Oh no. Excuse me, fly. Excuse me. Why is this... Why is this trap door not opening? I've been diddled. What the hell's up with that trap door? I've been absolutely diddled. Also, I, I don't have an active that currently works with um, with my book of virtues, which is sad. Or at least I can't see it working. It might work when you destroy rocks. I'm going to have to do some extra rooms here. I need another reroll. This one isn't it. Can I... Just just a quick quick little thing here. No, I was maybe seeing could I enter and then re-enter a room to get a new roll. D100. Dude. Again? Also, all the enemies got re-rolled in this room. What the hell? I got the sword again. What's going on with that? It's not a conducive thing to have for the fight. 
It really isn't. I don't know. I've never actually, I don't think I've ever actually had it on the beast, but I don't think it's going to be very conducive to the beast fight. Like, actually, to be fair, the damage here is nutty. Okay, I just realized it's because we have Proptosis plus Deadeye. That's also very nice. I'm thinking we might actually stick with this, you know? It's risky. It's certainly risky. But I do like the idea. Like, the damage we're outputting right now is just crazy. Also, we're explosion, explosion immune. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to stick to this. Kind of funny that Dingle the boss was smaller than the uh, than the enemy there. Ooh, look, look, Penny. I don't know if that's very useful for us, but I'll take it. Samson's lock. Actually, Samson's lock's probably better for us to carry. No temptation to reroll from now on. No temptation. Okay, we're good. That's it. That's our lot. It's a scary lot. I'll give you that. But we almost removed every broken heart too, which is pretty awesome. Rocket in a jar. If we have quite a lot of bombs, I might take that. Nah, we don't have enough. If we, I was going to say if we had like 30 or 40. Ooh. We can upgrade Sack Dagger a few times, which is something. Okay. We also still have the Flyboy costume somehow, which I didn't realize. Oh, we got Flyboy back. No, thank you. Right. This could go terribly. It could go really well. I feel like standing very, very close to this guy is not going to be great. I especially don't like the knockback that we have with this thing. The fact that, like, whenever we try and get close to anything, it just knocks us the, way, the hell back. Oh, we also have evil charms. We're immune to the godhead aura. I was wondering why it wasn't doing the noise then. But it's because we're actually immune to it. Ah, oh, dude, that was kind of that was kind of a dirty trick there. There you go. Okay, that's not too bad for a first phase. That was terrible. I just kind of walked into him there. What what's making us shoot fires? I don't see what item that is. Oh, it's our little flame buddy. It's like I kind of have to fight against the force. Ow. And then I do that sometimes. I fight against the force and walk directly into him. Oh, no. That is way too much damage to have taken. Oh, no. I took another hit. Ooh, that was a bit rough. I took a lot of hits in that last, like, five seconds of that fight there. Oh, God. Well... Let's see how this goes. Dude, I hate the way he does that. He like, rid me down the screen. <laughs> this is bad. This is not good. We have no protection against these attacks he's doing. And we have Hurst Hat, which is technically a chance to reflect shots, but I wouldn't exactly call that good protection. The, the, the only protection we have on our side is the fact that we can output redonkulous damage. Also, I can apparently dodge and weave like a crazy person. That was kind of nutty. The gas. Thank you. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Little chest, I assume. Ooh. Ooh. You are eternal, sir. That is not conducive to our success. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's terrible for us. That's a lot of poison, my guy. Oh god, his head's detached. I kind of forgot about this. Okay, I need to kill the body right now because it's spawning a lot of flies. Oh, the, the killing the body kills the head. Good to know. Ooh, another soul heart. Wow, I'm getting lucky. And I got a charge on that as well. It's war. What is it good for? Okay, second phase. Honestly, the damage we are dealing right now is carrying us way more than I expected it would with this thing. 
This is still really risky. Like, a lot more risky than I was hoping for in this fight, but the damage is exquisite. In comes death. This I'm j I, yeah, this I'm just kind of kind of power through and hope for the best. Being this close to him during this attack makes me very uncomfortable, but... Oh, you're coming back this way, I see. This, this attack's really good, actually, because he stays very still. And as long as we can bob and weave some of his big old skulls, even, even that, it doesn't matter, just go through it. Now, the beast. This is another story. Also, M. We got the M trinket, but it doesn't work on notched axe. Big sad. Yeah, this big guy. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to go down. Because basically, the fire phase is the phase that worries me. Mainly because I don't think we can hit him with our sword, at least. So what I'm going to do is... What the hell was that bomb? Oh, we've got tiny bombs. Tiny mega bombs. They're crazy. They do, ta they do giga bomb explosions. They're pretty awesome. Eat that, you dingus. I've got host hat as well, so I can just lob them. I don't really know if they're doing too much, I'll be honest. Doesn't seem like they are. Okay. Last hurdle. We should be fine here. That was a bit tricky, though. That was a bit tricky. Spirit Sword on this guy? Not recommended. But the game gave us it three times. I feel like at three times on rerolls, it's kind of like a, a fate at that point. We had to just accept it. And I mean, the damage was good. So there you go. We unlocked the Corrupted Heart. Wasn't expecting to go to the Beast this time around, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.